the day out. We're going to Porth Cool for the day. The weather's not looking so good though, is it? We're in a van, a three-seater. I've got a boyfriend there who's not on camera and a daughter there who's not on camera. And I've got rice cakes, buttered and marmited and I'm gonna eat them now for my breakfast. It's a very misty day today. IB got bored with the motorway, so we're taking a slightly more scenic route. This is a low bridge, 3.6 meters or 12 feet. How fascinating for you all. There was an alternative route avoiding said low bridge, but we went this way. Oh, these are interesting now. The rubber passes. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I want a balcony. I love a balcony. Hey, this is Treco oh, Bay. There we go, site. we've come to the caravan site. Look, they've got display ones. You can see how much they cost. Whoa. Oh, I'd love to have a look around there, just out of interest to see what the accommodation's like, because I kind of fancy the idea of having one. Obviously, you'll never be able to afford one here, though, but <laughs> I don't know if we are allowed to walk around here, are we? No, we should just keep going. Oh. 65,000 that one, 78,000. That's quite dear, isn't it, really? You could get a house for that in the valleys. I presume the fun fair's all shut up at this time of year. I'll tell you what, I'm not going on the wall set ever again. The wall was very good. Oh God, yeah. Even I be went yeah, on the wall, so we both declared we're never going on the wall set again in our lives. So could barely hold the puke in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like these houses. They're all kind of distinctive, but yet yeah, uniform kind of they have a commonality is that a school yeah, it, looks like a it school, is though. a school cool look at that that's fancy isn't it boing oh, oh sorry everyone we're coming up towards the funfair area actually and there's the beach right ahead Oh gosh, we're gonna try this, but we're not sure if the van is actually. No, it should be on. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I think it's one point. Did it kiss it? I thought I heard a little no, noise. I think it's two meters to this van. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get wedged. <laughs> we're out and it's windy. It's really blowy. There's a bit of a shock after being in a nice heated van. Uh, they seem to be doing some repair works to the wall here. Of the sea. Just coming up towards the fair Coney Beach. It isn't open. Today is a day for my daughter Izzy who's chosen to do this and she really wants to come and play on the 2P machine so that is where we are heading. Oh here we go, mask time. straight back off again then. Most of the things are shut here. I'm actually filming this on the last day of the year, 2021. New Year's Day tomorrow. In this way? Yeah. I'd be done, believe me, I'd done Kaylee's in there. We found the change machine. Look at all those two peas. Oh, here we go. This is what Izzy is attracted to. She remembers that we uh, had a good old stint of this when we went to Shanklin in the Isle of Wight. And so when asked what would she really like to do today, she straight away said, I want to play on the two pea machines in Porthcawl. There's one pound left. Yeah. IB and Izzy are already two peeing. Two peeing? Sound quite right, does it? <laughs> IB said, I only want 20 peas worth. And he said, that's it, I'm addicted. Look at these. Right, this is gonna be mine. Oh, mind you, look at that one. <gasps> oh. Okay, right, we're gonna go for it, guys. Oh yeah, look, these are quite spaced out at the top here. It looks really inviting at the front, but actually, there's quite a lot of room there. 
could be some time, I think. Looking at it, I think this one's a better machine because these are more densely packed here and there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go for this side. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure I heard something going in somewhere then and it wasn't mine. I know. Oh, oh, oh look! Oh god, that many came out. <laughs> I'm getting hot, I'm gonna take my coat off. Oh, that's better. Oh, look at that big load there, look at that. That's just waiting to come off, isn't it? I think it's safe to say that IB is enjoying this more than he thought he would. I'm gonna go for some this side. How does there keep being gaps here, you know? Because I keep filling it up and gaps are coming, so I don't know where they're coming from. I haven't had any. I've had that many two peas so far. You're 50. I'm, a I'm doing rubbish compared to them. Ooh, there's another one. There's a 10p there. Somebody's, for some insane reason, has put a 10p in. Some hangers over there, look. No. Oh, they're going down. I tell you what, we did better in Shanklin. They were bulging, fit to burst there. Now, I heard a 2P falling and it didn't go there, it went somewhere else, enclosed. I feel cheated when that happens. Do you win? Just two left of the original pound, we're not doing well, guys. Oh, look, we're going to have to use these. Oh, mine's rolling. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 look, look, I got some. Yay. I'll probably give them to Izzy, to be honest. Move the gun. over this side for a bit, I think. Ooh, they all nudged along a bit then. Ooh, there goes one. Oh, oh, got some more. But we're down to the last one of the second round. Look, still from the original pound. It's my limit, that is. I won't go over a pound. Ooh, ooh more came. Right. Round three time. I see it as it's worth the pound for some fun. Yay! <laughs> hey, it's going crazy now. Reminds me of a big string of sausages for some reason. Oh, I'm on the last one of round three. Going inside again. Uh, round four now. Do you think this is going to be it? The last round. When it does that roll the dice noise like that. 
it means that tickets are going to come out. Ooh, got some. We are going to have another round. What are we on now? Round four, aren't we? Roll the dice. Oh, oh, getting the dice thing. Four. Yeah, so four tickets come out. Right, I see the pattern. Still teetering on the brink of collapse, but no. Nope. The structure is sound. Right, last coin of round four. Nope. Okay, last round. Sixpence. And that is it. Last one. This could be the last one of the game. I'm gonna go for this side. Woo. Ah! <laughs> it's not the last one of the game. This one is the last one of the game. But will it cause a cascade? I doubt it. Hey, that's it. I'm done. That's my pound. IB's still going strong over it. Oh, you got some now, look. I dread to think how much you've put in. How much have you spent on that? Three quid. Three quid? Oh, but he's won some cuddly things, though. <laughs> and a key ring. <laughs> Spend it on sweets or a big ball. Sweets or a big ball. They've collected hundreds of tickets and I've just put mine in there as well because I'm I don't like need a 150 for a big ball. We've got like 200 and something. Well I just put another 27 in as well. Okay. There's a game here where you can win tickets as well. IB has wandered off now. He spent his three pounds on that and that's his limit. Just saying, but that looks like a face. In fact, it looks like a whole row of faces. I don't know if it's supposed to be. <laughs> Win me. Win that. You have to cut the rope, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would fit in our house. Oh, there's down the clown. IB is enjoying himself. It says it's taking him back to his childhood. You got a 10p, did you? Is he still going strong? <laughs> There's a race game here. How are you? Yeah. Ivy and Izzy are now shooting things together. Izzy. She's a big fan of Elmo and Cookie Monster. Izzy and I B have come to get their prizes. It's just shut for a minute, but I think it's going to be opening up in a minute. It's just got to go and do something. But this is what you can get. Look, sweetie. So they've got 300 tickets between them. What else have they got? Fidget spinners, bouncy balls, little puzzle toys. Sort of stocking fillery things, aren't they? Little notebooks. I don't know what that is. Bubbles. Funny things that make funny noise, games. Oh, they got bigger prizes, have they? Well, it says up there for 150, but I think I might be incorrect. Shark. Toilet. Oh, whoopy putty. I suppose it makes farting noises. Oh, and these are bigger ones. Look, they're more fun. Yeah, that's for like 9,000. Yeah, 9,000. Of the big, big. You want the Rainbow big balls, ball. you? Because you can get one for 150. Uh, it's ticket eating time, so you have to feed your tickets into a machine before you can claim your prizes. And then it gives you a printed out paper receipt. It's counting them up, look. 78 so far, so you counted 300, didn't you, IB? Let's see if you're wrong. 298, 298, let's see if you're correct. So that means if, if, if you're correct, we'd be two points off another bounce. Mm -hmm. oh. And his back opening up again, so that's good timing, isn't it? We're out, we were getting a bit hot, we were, but Isabel's just in cashing in her prizes. Cashing in her prizes, cashing in her whatever it is, getting prizes. And I'm just waiting outside the door for her, cooling off a bit, because it was boiling in there, especially with the mask on the whole time, of course. Oh, Isabel has shared her winnings. Look, I only contributed 27 tickets as well. I'm not eating it now, though, because I don't want to spoil my appetite, because IB has got a hankering for some fish and chips by the sea. And Isabel's actually gone vegetarian <laughs> and she's not even eating fish at the moment so she's overtaken me in vegetarianism because I do eat fish but I don't eat meat but anyway we're heading somewhere for lunch now we're walking along it's a real misty day isn't it look at that we're taking a walk along now back 
probably along there to find a fish and chip shop. I think my camera's overexposing. What do you think, Izzy? I don't know. We're doing the obligatory stopping to look at the boats thing, but not for long, because we're actually quite hungry. Ah, oh, now that over there, we've sat there twice now and sat and had a coffee and looked out at the boats here, but we're not going there today. Just crossing over the road. I don't know why, but this one over here looks a bit fish and chip shoppy. Let's have a look at the menu. Vegetarian breakfast, regular breakfast, large breakfast. No fish and chips though. No, that was full and I don't think it did fish and chips. So we're gonna try this one just over here. I hope Frosty is parked up. Is it busy? I can see it. No, I can see tables. This one does actually have seating. Hello, Mr. Snowman. A shoe? Mm, it's got lots of cakes and things. I don't know about fish and chips though. We've popped out of there. It wasn't quite what we had in mind for our feed. No fish and chips, certainly. So we're going to see what else we can find. So, sorry about the funny angle. Just trying not to get people in shock. We've come into the cafe. Izzy's feeling the shock of, I think, the first time ordering as a vegetarian and realising the options are generally in most places a lot more limited and you quite often don't fancy what is on offer. But anyway, she's made a choice and she's quite happy with it. IB is ordering at the moment and I'll show you what we got in a minute. We're in Augusto Cafe and Grill House. Isabel's showing me her winnings. These came out of the 2P machines, didn't they? Came dropping down, these cuddly things. She says, how can you cuddle them? They're too small. I said, well, you could do this. <laughs> I quite like those balls, actually. Yeah, they're pretty. She's collecting them up from all the different places like that. I think I have 12 now. You've got 12, have you? Yeah, 12. You have to make an art installation out of them, I think, in, in 20 years. When I have like 109. Yeah, you could do. You could make like a mosaic image, you know, with all different colours to represent a pixel each. <laughs> I am actually drinking a glass of water and I'm getting a coffee as well. Sign of the times, masks abandoned all over the table. <laughs> oh, look what's come! An oat milk cappuccino. They actually do oat milk, so I was really pleased. And look, it's come with a very cute chocolate as well as robbed IB of his, but apparently it's got a soft filling inside. I'm going to have mine after my lunch. Isabel is asking some very important questions about these things. Where are their internal organs? So she was wondering if the lungs were up in their head, the digestive system was crushed in somewhere. I mean, they do look a bit evil. Yeah, they do. They look like parasites. They must be, because they haven't got any organs, so they'll exactly. have to just they look, leech off you. Great. Ew, no, get off. <laughs> she says the lady's laughing politely at me. I said, do you want to play your game and guess which meals for who? By the look of us. There's Izzy's brie and tomato panini. IB has gone for a big breakfast. With toast. And this is my sort of veggie. I asked them, well, asked IB to ask specifically for mushrooms, egg, and chips instead of ham, egg, and chips, and they have obliged. So looking forward to tucking into this. Coffee's going down very well. It's actually delicious. It is, isn't it? Mm, really nice, yeah. We've come out of there now. That was really good in there. The coffee was absolutely lovely, and the food was really nice. The service was lovely. Just nice atmosphere. And because we haven't done a lot of it because of the pandemic, we just really appreciate every second of being in cafes. Isabel's nipped into B&M, which is by there, but we haven't gone in. We're just waiting for her on this bench. Here are the people sitting on because, you know, COVID and all that, and just limiting a little bit about what we do. Not sure what we're doing next. What are we doing next, IB? Going home. Going home. And we're keeping an eye out for a new bag for Izzy, but it's not essential that we get that from here. Well, I don't mind a walk down the high street. No, I, I don't mind a walk. I like walking. We can go to the car by other yeah, okay. far end of that street if you want to see if there's a shop. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, a lot of the shops sort of around the high tide area and the, and the fair, they were shut, you know, all the normal stalls that have hats and things. <laughs> That's the cafe that we were in anyway. Gusto Grill, but Cafe Fresco. I think it's Italian, I think. You get a lot of Italian cafes in Wales, South Wales, and they have a sort of specific look about them and that had it. Oh, there's some 
<laughs> Ivy's getting excited about bins. Ivy's bins have been eaten by squirrels. They really oh, genuinely have. Sorry. Tenner. Well, I don't want to carry That's it, a but... tenner as well, it's the same price, look. What kind of hybrid is that? Oh, that creature. Oh, it's got a... It's a seahorse. Oh, it is a seahorse, yeah. <laughs> So we're just walking back to the van now, basically, but we're taking a bit of a scenic route just to see some different sights. Look that building there. That's nice. Oh, a pigeon suddenly swooped down really low right in front of me. I don't think I quite caught it with the camera. Oh, it's a pretty one. <laughs> Oh, there's a pound land there. Costa. Last time we were here, we got some food from the Green Olive. It looks like it might be shut. It was very nice, wasn't it? Really nice. And in our other Porth Call vlog, we sat there and ate. Yeah, we sat there last time. You did, yeah. I must say, we have had to sort of skirt around a fair bit of dog poo today. As soon as I turned that camera off, there was another load. <laughs> but you know, I don't really want to film it for the vlog anyway. Loads and loads, this isn't the zoomy camera, but there's loads and loads of seagulls just kind of hanging out in a flock in the field there. This car park is very puddly and in the van it was incredibly like, bouncy driving all over it and all through the potholes and everything and it seems to be pretty consistent throughout the car park it's kind of fun you know with all the rain because we've got all these puddles everywhere it looks almost like a delta formation <laughs> okay maybe that was a bit of a stretch of the imagination Whoa. but loads though look it's proper bumpy to drive over and speaking of driving we're going to drive back now. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching it. Could you give it a like if you happened to like it and follow my channel with the subscribe button if you'd like to watch more of my adventures here in South Wales. I usually do daily vlogs like six days a week. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.